Hello Lever Fanatics! Today I want to talk a little bit about what you can do if you're not using really premium espresso and you don't want to just drink it straight because maybe the quality of the coffee is, is not as good as a premium uh, coffee. So I'm using um, Lavazza Gran Crema, which is a, a great coffee. I can actually drink this as an espresso. I do like the taste of it. However, it's not very interesting. It, it doesn't have the kind of depth of flavor that some of the other um, uh, premium coffees that I, I tend to use have. But I do have a way of preparing it that I really like. And I want to share that with you today. And it's a great way to use maybe older coffee, coffee that has uh, gone past its date due and that is to make it into a short Americano. And I'll show you how I do it, at least for me. So first, we're going to do 14 grams of beans. And this Lavazza uh, came from Italy, so it's not really freshly roasted. Um, it also comes in a very large bag, so it will last quite a while. And um, I'm not sure how long I've had this one, but uh, it's way past the sort of optimum time to, uh, to use it gonna grind uh, 14 grams here on the niche and this coffee by itself it's, it has a decent flavor um, I can drink it as an espresso but as I mentioned it is a little a little bit flat a little one-dimensional um, I shouldn't say one-dimensional it just doesn't have the depth of flavors uh, as, as other coffees might have especially freshly roasted but the problem with freshly roasted is you got to make sure you always have it. And so sometimes I forget to order and I go through coffee faster than I think and I'm kind of left without coffee beans and that's where this guy comes in very handy. Um, the other thing it's good for is sometimes you want to sit back and enjoy your coffee for a longer amount of time than an espresso would last. Espresso is very uh, low in volume and so you, you can drink it quite quickly. Um, so I found kind of a good compromise. If you go to Starbucks or a uh, Pete's or, or any other coffee shop and you order an Americano, it tends to be two or three shots with a lot of water, very watered down. I personally like it better than I do drip coffee, but um, it's, it's quite a lot of water to espresso. So what I do instead is make kind of a short um, Americano. So I'm gonna place uh, my espresso cup under here, and it is kind of a large espresso cup, and I'm gonna do 10 second pre-infusion as usual. You can see the coffee coming out. Now I make this exactly the same way that I would make any espresso. And give it two Fellini pools. And release it. Especially in the morning uh, when I sit down to sort of get the day started. I like to start it with a nice cup of coffee. And sometimes I think, wow, oh, maybe I should go back to drip coffee because, you know, that's a lot of coffee to drink. Uh, and of course, when I do try drip coffee, I realize why I bought the espresso machine. So much better flavor when it comes to uh, espresso. So here we have my espresso. Now I could drink this. Um, this is a, a long shot, but what I like to do is add just a little bit of hot water. So I'm gonna pour a little bit of hot water in it just to fill it up. Now I haven't actually measured it, but you can see there we go. Still, great cup of coffee. Uh, it's, got, it's going to have a nice flavor. If your coffee has gone a little old and maybe mm, is a little bitter, has more bitters than you want, uh, adding a little hot water does wonders. Let's taste it. Oh, that is delicious. If you gave me that as a cup of coffee, I would say that's the best cup of coffee I've ever had. Sure, not as strong as straight espresso, but a great drink for the morning. A great drink when you just want to sit and sip coffee for longer than a shot of espresso would last. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you want to have more videos like this, um, please feel free to like and subscribe this video. Uh, add your comments down below. And always remember, the best espresso is the one that you pull.